Hi, my name is Danny Harwood and I'm the head PGA professional here at the Chadwell Springs Family Golf Centre. Today in episode 5 we're going to be looking at the full swing, but in particular we're going to be looking at irons and hybrids. We're going to have a look at when the shot's going to be played, what clubs to be used and how we're going to set up for each iron. Let's take a little look. So let's take a look at the full swing. What is a full swing? Well, the full swing is basically how far back can you swing the club? When you look at the experts and the, the touring professionals on the telly, they can get the club all the way up to here, where the shaft is basically in a horizontal line to the floor. You know, you don't have to swing it all the way back there, but the further back you do go, the more club head speed you're gonna produce, create, and hopefully you're gonna get the, the ball speed up, so you're gonna be hitting the ball a bit further. I can appreciate that everybody's different and everybody's got different physical limitations. So it doesn't matter if you can't swing all the club all the way back here. If that's as far back as you can go, that's as far back as you can go. But I must keep reiterating that you must go and see your local PGA Pro and he or she will definitely give you the best advice on how far back you should be swinging the club to reach your, your maximum potential. Anyway, I have a pitch wedge in my hand at the moment. We're going to have a look at the setup of the swing and then take a little shot. So I'm going to take my grip as I normally would do. I've got the interlocking one. Remember there's kind of three different types of grip that you can use when you're playing a bit more of a fuller shot. But again, see your local PJ Pro and they will definitely give you the best advice on which one is, is right for you. I'm going to have my club face pointing towards my target. And for a pitching wedge, I'm going to have the ball in the center of my stance. Okay. I'm going to have my hand slightly further forward at set up, so a bit like the pitching video that we, that we did uh, a little while ago. We're going to have a line, a straight line going through the, straight, through the shaft, through your left arm, just to get those hands a little bit further forward, and that's going to help us hit down on the ball and basically make our strike nice and consistent. So, club face is going in the right direction. Got my hand slightly further forward. My feet are going to be about shoulder, shoulder width apart. And my feet are going to be going parallel to my ball to target line. Okay, so I've got my setup. Body weight's going to be about 50 52. Now, as we start the goal swing itself, we're going to start with your chip swing, so like we did in, the, in our earlier video. We're just going to do this little take away with your arms and shoulders to start off with. And then as you start going backwards, we move into your pitch swing. So that's when you're going to start hinging your wrist a little bit more. So you've got like an L shape or a 90 degree angle in here. And as you could probably see, my shoulders and my hips have started turning a little bit more too. Now to get the club even further backwards, we're just going to keep rotating, a little bit of wrist hinge too, and we're going to get to the top of our back, so you can probably see that my left shoulder is underneath my chin. Now, this is typically or a generic full swing, but again, everybody's different, so go and have a lesson and see which, what your maximum is and what your, your full swing is, right? So let's put a few pieces together and let's hit a shot. So I'm gonna swing all the way back up to the top to here. And then from here, I'm just gonna accelerate my, my body. I'm gonna make my hips start turning. My body is gonna to continue to follow my shoulders, my hands. And then as we keep coming through the ball, we're just gonna keep rotating, keep turning and hopefully hit a nice straight shot down the middle. So that's a pitching wedge. Now, my pitching wedge goes about 123, 124 yards. But that's just me personally. You know, you get the guys on tour that are hitting a lot further than that. It doesn't matter how far you hit the ball. You just want to make sure that you can get a nice consistent strike and that's going to give you your consistent yardages so that when you go out and play, you know exactly what club you're going to be picking. Now, there's some great technology out nowadays. I actually have SkyTrack, which basically measures how far you hit all of, your, all of your balls. So if you needed to know how far you hit all your clubs, get in contact and we can do a little session on how far you hit all your clubs. It's basically called a gapping session. You can also see it on my website, 
dannyholdpj.com. So that's the pitching wedge that we've just spoken about. Let's try a different club. So we just covered the pitching wedge there, ball position was in the middle, and I would try and say to you to try and keep the ball in the middle for all your wedges, your nine iron, and even your eight iron. So when you get towards like your seven iron, your sixes, etc., that the club, the ball's position is going to move slightly. So let's have a little look. So as we've just said, ball with your pitch and wedge, your nine, your eight, and your wedges is going to be fairly central. But now I've got a seven iron. What I'm going to try and do is make basically just make that ball position go a little bit further forward in my stance. So as you can see, I've just put another another ball there, and that is basically how far forward I am going to be having this ball with a seven iron. So that was my pitching wedge, and now I'm going to go for a seven iron. So if I was to pop that one out of the way, I'm going to adopt exactly the same setup. But as you could probably see, the ball's just a little bit more towards my left foot. Let's give it a go. So that's my 7 iron. My 7 iron goes about 165 yards. But again, everybody's different. So make sure you get your right numbers so that when you get onto the golf course, you've got the right club in your hand. Let's take a look at another club. Okay, so you've covered your pitching wedge, covered a 7 iron. When we get up towards like a 4 iron, again, this is where I want to try and make sure that this ball position is going to move ever so slightly more towards your left foot again. So as you can see from the balls that I've got here at the moment, this ball here was the pitch and wedge setup that I did, which should cover all your wedges, your nine and your eight iron. This is for your seven, your six and your five. And then as we get towards your, your higher irons, like your four iron or your hybrid or a two iron, this is when we're gonna start seeing the ball go a little bit further forward again. So let's grab another ball. And I'm just gonna put my third ball just here. So as you can see, you've got three balls. This is the pitching wedge setup that I did. This was the seven iron setup that I did. And now this is gonna be my, my four iron setup and my hybrids, etc. So let's knock those two out of the way. Again, I'm gonna be adopting exactly the same setup towards the ball. Got my grip, got my setup. And there we have it. Again, my, my four iron goes about 200 yards, maybe 201 yards. But again, everybody's different. different. I can't stress that enough. I get so many people come up to me and say, how far should I hit, hit this club? Well, everybody's different. Like we said at the beginning, there's some big people, there's some smaller people, height-wise, size-wise, shape-wise. So everybody's going to be different. So it's important that you know how far you hit the ball. Don't worry about everybody else's shots and, and distances they're not hitting the ball for you it's all depending on you so that was your ball position that we just covered there for your pitching wedge your seven iron your four iron hopefully that's all made sense uh, if you've got any questions please make sure you contact me on social media uh, my website is also uh, in the description block box below so yeah make sure you get in contact if you've got any more questions again that's a, a nice basic set up to how you hit a full shot. Take care and bye for now.